Oh, what's up, everybody? How's it going? We're playing some custom hero clash, mostly something casual today. So, Berserker, Champion, or Tenacity. What does Slaughter have? 3.6, 2.4, 1.5. You know what? I think Champion increases all your attributes growth by one. That sounds pretty good. 250 bonus attack speed. Nah, I would rather be a champion. Multicast. Oh, God. Really? Is this us? Is this us again? Do we take the wild axis and just take the free bin? We have multicast access. I feel like I should. All right. I don't know how long it's been since we've done this on video. But I guess we are multicasting access today. You know what? Forgive me. Forgive me. But it is always fun. <laughs> It is still quite enjoyable, even after the 15th time. Yeah, I don't know. Honestly, today's just kind of been a bit of a chill day for me. Just taking it a bit easier. I've been, um, something I've been working on a lot over the past few days is I've been gathering like an army. <laughs> an army of artists to make alternate art for Chroma. Wait, I kind of got an example of it. So here's something. So this is like the original art. Right? And this is this is just a sketch, right? But this is sort of what the alternate art will look like. So you can see it's like very different, very different style, but that's kind of the idea that you can like really customize things there. And uh yeah, you know, I think it's it's kind of cool. Anyway. So we got ourselves wild axis, we're gonna get ourselves agonums. Of course. We gotta get the agonums. After we get agonums. Um, well, I think this is all crap. Let's click our Dark Lord sponsored uh, reroll button. Do we get crush? And we get a puddle. Puddle sounds like fun. You can fade board and like bounce fade boards around. Uh, frost shield, I guess. Multicast and crush. Ah, you know what? Multicast and crush doesn't sound that bad. I mean, I'm kind of okay with that. Hello. Oh, don't do that. That's rude. Here you go. Oh, you've got like way more... Way more healing than I do. But I have way more crush than you do, so... Suck on that. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> crush the nerd. Yeah. That's how we do it. I mean, honestly, I don't really know how good Crush is going to be, but it can't be that bad. It should be all right-ish. Oh, Devil got Maledict. Maledict is actually, like, super sick in this mode. Uh, because you can cast it on creeps. Like, hopefully we'll get to see it. I think we did actually already see it in the video. You know, it's, it's, it can be a bit tricky to keep complete track of everything we've done, like, on stream and everything that we did in video and all of that stuff. It, it just can be a little bit difficult at times. All right, here's our wild axis. For the time being, I think we're gonna chill. We don't really need to crush or anything like that right now. All right, and we're just gonna be happy, happy boys, happy slaughters. That's who we are. That's right. But yeah, honestly, so okay, okay. I don't mean to talk shit, but <laughs> but <laughs> I mean that's already a good start, right? <laughs> I don't mean to talk shit, but. That already means I'm gonna talk shit. But I've said before how I believe that the, the starving artist is self-inflicted. Well, it has happened multiple times now <laughs> that I've been in talk with somebody. <laughs> right, and I'm just like, okay, we figured out all the details. What's your Discord? Oh wait, like, do you have Discord? And then they just reply with, yes. I mean, that's that's great. That's really what I was... I, I just wanted some trivia. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm honestly glad that you informed me on the trivia that you have Discord. <laughs> um, thanks, I guess. <laughs> okay, let's multicast track because you can... You can cast track on creeps here, right? <gasps> Are you guys ready to make track money oh my god 
I'm actually I'm actually kind of excited. Can be used on creeps. It does work. There it is, we do that. Good, good, good. Um So wait, how much gold do we get? We get 130 gold. Like even on creeps, that's actually pretty significant. That's actually not too bad, is it? Like up to 320 gold per creep. And we can multicast it. I mean, in fear, we could even try to use it multiple times in a single fight, but that might be a little overboard. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this, this is just trivial. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, I guess the, the Frost Haven heal is kind of a good ability. So the good news for us is now we have our Aghanim Scepter, uh, which is very nice, very, very powerful. Uh, we can, of course, uh, I just spam the axes now, multicast those, have a fun time with it. So we start working on a Shiva's Guard. So something that's uh, sort of different about Custom Hero Clash, as opposed to Custom Hero Chaos, in Custom Hero Clash, you don't need a Force of Stars badly, because in Custom Hero Clash, the spell amp per int is just built in. Like, it's just all heroes have it. And so it's not that big of a deal to buy the Force of Star to get that attribute. In that way, we can actually just skip it uh, if we want to for, like, a lot of the game. It still gives a lot because it's just straight up 50% spell amp, the force of star and 82 intelligence, which is the, or star force, I guess, which is the most intelligence you can get. But yeah. Okay. Um, there's some fun stuff here. Arcane Bolt. I mean, Arcane Bolt is nasty against heroes. Like, it's just brutal. <laughs> I mean, honestly, for the early game, it might be fine to just get Arcane Bolt just so we can really mess up some heroes with it. All right. Winning these fights is important, so let's let's try our best. Good, good, good. Very nice. You can see we got 3,931 gold for winning that one. You get a lot of money if you win duels in Custom Hero Clash. Like, again, if you're not used to the differences between the two modes. So Custom Hero Clash, um, you need a lot of... Um, sorry, what I'm trying to say here. So in Custom Hero Clash, you need to uh, win duels. It's super important because you just kind of get a shit ton of money for it. Um, it's pretty valuable and pretty powerful to go for high value bets like that because you can make a lot of money too and it snowballs like crazy because in here the money you get for winning a duel is determined by how much money people bet on you right so the more money they bet on you the more money you get um, unless of course nobody bet on you then you get the jackpot but yeah, it's, it's it's a little bit crazy like that. Oh, in a similar way, it is pretty strong and pretty valuable to be put into a lot of um, duels, especially early on, if you can win them. Because that means you get to just kind of go a little bit nuts with... Um, All right, there we go. You kind of get to go a little bit nuts with the money you earn, which of course is very valuable. All right, screwed it up a little bit, but you can see we still got four thousand three hundred gold, and now it's just it's just snowballing, right? The snowball is starting to really start uh, get moving. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, scoot this guy over here. We want to be a bit more active with how I'm using my abilities here. Um, I need to reorder them for that, though. I don't know about you, but, like, what order my abilities are in has a huge impact on how I use them. <laughs> it's, like, massive. 
Uh, I'm gonna say this guy can. Uh, devil, devil's smart. You know what? Bet on players. Don't bet on builds. Don't bet on. Don't bet on abilities. Bet on players. Because honestly, the players are the only thing you can trust. Isn't that right, Devil? Make us proud. Oh, well, Maledict uh, did some damage there. Yeah, just kind of like keep running. Yeah, 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 just keep it going. Oh, never mind. What the hell? That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Oh, that hurts. Devil! Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, okay. She was gone? Nope. Oh, we're about to lose a lot of money. And oh, somebody's about to make a lot of it. The Mirana. How much? How much? 10,000 gold. And uh, Shadow Fiend only gets 4k. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stealing that jackpot. Oh, hello. Are we... Alright, Dota seems to be... Oh, okay. Okay. It's okay, don't worry about it. Not a big deal, not a big deal. We will, um... We'll just reconnect in a second. Uh, as Dota has a tendency to crash sometimes. It's okay, That that's just something that happens, right? I'm not really sure why it happened right now, but... Uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and close my Dota. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about it. Okay, give it a second. You gotta wait a moment. You gotta wait a moment. You can't just immediately start Dota again and it doesn't work. I really gotta go get a haircut. Like, uh... Have a... I have a lot of hair. That's my current hair situation. <laughs> I think the hairdressers are actually open again, so I might be able to go tomorrow or something. Alright, give me back in here. Come on. Wait, wait, why is this intro playing again? That started playing again since the recent patch. But, I don't know. Alright, you know what the funniest thing about this is? Right, so like, you see this logo? You see this load screen? This is very clearly, very clearly meant to look like a Chinese-made game. Right? It's because... Chinese players are more likely to play a game made by a Chinese creator. Since when did Dota have an intro on Stardust? Hey, real sticks. Uh, since last patch for me, honestly. <laughs> Thank you very much for nine months. But as I was saying, though, right, Chinese players are more likely to play a game made by a Chinese creator. Guess who's not Chinese? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the Darkest Lord. <laughs> Our Darkest Lord is definitely not Chinese. <laughs> but hey, you know, gotta respect the hustle. Yes. Alright, we got ourselves we got ourselves a little bit of a value engine going. I think the track gold will hopefully add up long term. That's the idea after all. Lots of lots of summons and stuff. You know what? I believe in you. You go make it happen. All right. Ah, yeah, god damn it! Got a multicast for the first time a second ago, and then I didn't have anything ready. <sighs> All right. I wonder if it's worth it to wait. I got two hundred fifty-eight gold for finishing third. It's actually probably worth it for me to just like track and I don't know, only kill the tracked units. It's kind of difficult for me to do that though. <laughs> the only problem with that strategy is that I'm very good at killing stuff. Like I'm I'm really I'm really, really good at killing things. Which, um, yeah, that's that's a little bit awkward, I guess. Oh, am I getting a cat? Oh, hello, Coco. Oh, no multicast, that's fine. Alright, I've got one creep. 
Is it worth it 225 gold to just wait? I guess I'm already waiting. I guess I'm already waiting. Really? I'm surprised by that one. Okay. Hey Coco, how are you doing? Okay. And here we go. Let's get ourselves this. Thank you very much. It's my multicast. Alright, Lich. I'm gonna I'm gonna gonna be very cautious with my gambles right now. Like I think why don't we cast it on the same guy? So I think I don't really need to worry too much about getting all of the gambles right. Because we can make a lot of money with track. Right? I mean we should be able to make a ton of money with track now. <laughs> uh We'll see. Okay, it's it's a duel. It is a duel. Hey, Coco, what's up? Come on, get in the basket. Don't don't walk not on the key. Coco, I can't see. Got a cat in front of the screen. Oh, leave the microphone alone. The people need to be able to hear me. I don't know, maybe the people would rather not. Who knows, Coco? Maybe you know. Isn't that right? Uh, come here for a second. Nope. You don't want to come here. All right. I was going to show her, but I guess she doesn't want me to pick her. No, no, now she's coming. There we go. Very peculiar cat. Wait. Everybody say. Wait one second. Uh, it's everything too complex right now, honestly. Very good. So. Hey, Coco. Everybody say hello to the... Nope, Coco. Everybody say hello to the Coco. This is Coco. She does not want to say hello. Can you chill? She does not know how to chill. <laughs> Don't worry. She's fine. She just doesn't like being picked up like that. Okay, then. No, Co Coco. She moved the microphone. There we go. All right, we're back. <laughs> The cat is being very intrusive right now. Apologies. <laughs> I can get minus 3.5 seconds crush cooldown. Is that good? I mean, crush is going to have like no cooldown. That might actually not be too bad. Hmm. Interesting. That is kind of interesting, isn't it? So how long does this last? This is only 30 seconds. So I can't, like, track and then wait until, yeah, wait until I can track again because then it's going to run out. So it's a bit awkward because all of our damage is AoE as well. That's definitely just a tiny tad bit awkward. Okay. Well, the, the, the Stinker is way stronger. And the Stinker also has detection. Which is, in the end, really what matters. Okay, so now we have a lot of money. Like, honestly, way too much money. Like, wow, it's just kind of getting out of hand how much money we have. <laughs> so, the Waning Rift has no cooldown, right? The Waning Rift is just 100% silence. Perfect silence, you can't can't do anything against it, I, su I assume. Oh, no! <sighs> we just lost a lot of money. I overestimated the power of the 100% silence. That's okay, not a big deal. We'll go ahead and... Uh... We'll just go ahead and chill here. 
This is like cooldown 3.4 seconds now. It's like really not very much. It's very spammable. God, we lost so much money there. Man, that really sucks. I'm really unhappy about that. <gasps> like, I thought that we had, like, a cool thing there, but that's okay. No so, the Snyx has mana burn on, like, no cooldown. Alright, I'm gonna believe that the Nyx can, can miraculously pull this one out. I'll probably want this Titan. Do I want this Titan sliver? Yeah, Stash Resistance, Magic Resistance was not too bad. Nux did not win. Oh my god, the Shadow Fiend is making way too much money. <laughs> and look at that, look at that, that's what I mean, right? So you, you can see that there was a lot of money gambled on that duel for the Tinker to win. And so the Tinker won, and the Tinker got 8,000 gold. Crazy! Why the fuck does the Tinker get 8,000 gold? Very rude. Uh, kind of frankly a little disturbing. I, I strongly disapprove of this behavior. Got it. So now I won that one because everybody bet on me. I got 7,699 gold. Also, look at this intense puddle. Look at this darkest of deep sea water. Alright, alright. Uh, people want me to buy a book of paragons. I'm gonna get a book of paragon. Maledict. That's actually, I don't, I don't know how useful that is. Wait, is Maledict just infinite damage? Well, if I do this here and then I, I do this. And then I forget to cast track, but like, it's probably not good. <laughs> That's probably not very good. Coco, come here. We're having a special guest today. Like, usually the cat is just sleepy in the basket. But nope, she does not want to be picked up. Well, that's too bad, Coco, because you're about to be picked up. Look, here's the cat. Funny, I can hold her like this and she's chill with it. Except she's not chill with it. Oh yeah, this is something that she's sort of chill with. Nope, not right now. <laughs> what a tortured animal right here. Okay, Coco, chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry, I am here and I'm gonna kick your ass, nerd. Yeah, well, you better, you, you better would have done something. Better use that time while you can. Because I'll kick your ass, nerd. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, time to get a hard. Because a hard is a good thing to have. <sighs> of course. Of course. Um, that boy versus that boy. I think this boy? Like the silence. I'm just, I don't know. Like, I'm a big believer in having crazy amounts of silence. I think that's, like, usually really strong. So, like, okay. The theory behind the Maledict is that Maledict will allow us to do just kind of like crazy amounts of damage if we amp it with the axes. Right? Also, guys, you're just making so much money, like, honestly. Let's go and buy government. <laughs> Wait, is that not funny? I don't know, might be too real for a second. There we go. 
Okay, so that wasn't even really close. So we consume this bad boy. And then? What then? I mean, we'll, we'll kill Devil. Like, okay, I get that. But, like, what else? Let's just get a BKB for now. Whatever, we're gonna need one at some point anyway. This is entirely just like a... Like, uh, BKB because I don't know what else to buy right now. <laughs> BKB. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't think you can win a duel against me. And by you, I don't mean you specifically. I mean like you as in the concept of our people. Oh, could you hear the cat screaming? Yeah, she does that. Coco has... Um, so Coco has learned over the past months. <laughs> yes, I don't know. But she knows that if she just screams a lot, we will come running. Because we are always worried that she's hurt or something. Um, the problem is, of course, she's never hurt. Like she just screams because she knows we'll come running. <laughs> But it's not like we're not going to come running, right? So, uh, yeah, that's why you can sometimes hear the cat in the background just screaming. It's not because there's anything wrong with her. She just wants attention. <laughs> that's it. She just wants attention. <laughs> All right, we have way too much money and I don't know what to do with it. Let's get like a crown of dominators plus 16 to all stats, right? Like, I mean, why not? Like, plus 16 to all stats seems like a good one. <sighs> Gonna say you got it. Cat wants company. Cat gets all the attention in the world. Don't worry about the cat. <laughs> the cat can just never be satisfied. Alright, here we go. We gotta, we gotta change some stuff about our build. I honestly think, like, Crush can go. Crush probably goes first. Mm, no. Still no. Still no. Uh, that's still gonna be a no from me, dog. <laughs> There's Crush again. Arcane Supremacy. Arcane Supremacy makes Maledict last longer. With Arcane Supremacy, we don't actually need... Because, like, if I cast this on something now... Right, let's, 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 do, an, let's do a little experiment right now. So I've cast Maledict on these guys. This should now last long enough for me to be able to recast Maledict on them. If they don't die ahead of time. I don't think it worked. Did it work? I kind of doubt it. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe we do need um maybe we do need a bad juju. Talking about bad juju here. Yeah. Alright, let's try this again. So maledict. I just want to see if they... Fuck! They keep dying! <laughs> okay. 
We're encountering an unexpected issue. Alright, so it seems Maledict is probably good to keep around no matter what. Um, let's get rid of Arcane Ward. Alright, there's some defense. Time to get rid of track? Wait, I guess it's time to get rid of track. And... Uh, no. And untouchable. We even got Sproink. Alright, so we do this now. Okay, so this is actually a good opportunity to test this. No, there's not enough time. There's not enough time. But... If I just Maledict and then spam Axes a lot, right, don't even have to spam them that much. Then that's easily enough. So that means then that Arcane Supremacy is not actually good. Because Arcane Supremacy doesn't extend the Maledict duration. And if it does extend it, it's not 40%. Either way, it's not anywhere near enough. We need a long maledict duration. Okay, let's get... <laughs> we can sprink a <laughs> multicast. <laughs> there we go. I like multicasting, sprink. Boink, boink, boink. <laughs> sprink. 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 So, we either want more defense or we want bad juju. Which, like, that seems like the same thing pretty much every game, right? That's what you pretty much always do. You just want defense or bad juju. Okay. This stinker versus this very stinky guy. There's a lot of silence. Alright, we do this. And you're dead, right? Yeah. I mean, honestly, I think like the double amping. Like, Maledict already amps damage, and then the Wild Axes amp damage, and then it like adds up. Kind of goes crazy. Try and feeble bane and feeble should work. I actually don't think so. I, I I think bad juju is a really weird ability that only works in very specific weird ways. And one of those weird ways is that it doesn't like you can't extend it. You can't manipulate its duration. All right, got that. All right, uh, we'll get rid of Arcane Supremacy right now. Fatal Bonds is not bad, but I don't think it's what we want right here. Like, Fatal Bonds is a good ability, but it's just not right, I think. Well, well, well. Will you look at the uh, dad? Will you look at the uh, dad? I don't know. Something. Look at the. Now we can stun things. How nice. We should probably start buying some smokes. We're gonna be needing those later. Look at that. Bouncity bounce with our sproinkity sproink. Guys, come on. What's you up to? Play the video game. <laughs> What's this? Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> what? Why did he even? Doesn't the Mirana have more HP? I thought the Mirana has more life. Guess not. There you go. <laughs> Alright then. Axe is time. Easy lifetime. So my question now is, do I want to keep the Spursion? Is the Spursion good enough? It's 22% HP. I don't think so, actually. I actually think we want to get rid of the Spursion and replace it with... Like, uh, Vindron would be great. Uh, Abaddon Ultimate, Oracle Ultimate. Anything like that, really. There's like a variety of things that would work well, I think. I don't know. Okay then, my nerd. Ha! Oh shit. Oh, wait. Bup, bup, bup. Nope, nope. Ah, I'm bouncing. Oh, alright, never mind. We're getting out of there, boys. There we go. You're you never ready for that, were you? Nope, don't don't bounce that far. Oh god. Oh, we got it! Oh, we did it! Oh, we did it! Oh shit, never mind. Bounce your way out of there, my boy. <laughs> bounce your way back in there. Oh, there we go. Let's do this! Yes! <laughs> what a fight. Alright. I'm glad that we had such good control over everything that was happening there. <laughs> don't you guys, don't you guys agree? Didn't it feel good to just be in control? And know what was happening? Okay. So we can't buy a second book of Paragon, right? You can only buy it once, although it doesn't say that anymore. It doesn't say it. Hmm. It used to say that. That's the thing that's making me a bit suspicious. Just a little bit suspicious. Alright, we're gonna wait, 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 and then sproink our way out of there. Perfect. Perfect execution. Wonderful landing spot. Expertly done, Slaughter. And just maledict them down. That's what I like to see. Oh wait, there's even a Divine Rapier here. Seriously, that guy left the Divine Rapier? Or like, took the Divine Rapier into the fight? I'm very surprised by that. Do it, yes! Make that money, my boy. Make me that money. Ugh. Oh, what is that? Trident. I, I, this might be the first time I've actually gotten a trident in this. Hell yeah. I'm totally up for that. Give me these bad boys. What do we do about this guy now? I mean, it's just like... Sprink around the place, I think. <laughs> Alright, are you ready for my strategy? <laughs> Devil, are you mentally prepared for what's about to happen? Do you know how I fight? Do you know what my combat style is? Because, like, honestly, it's a little disturbing. 
<laughs> oh my god. Boinks, boinks. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Wait, is that the minimum it's letting me do now? I'm gonna bet one gold on this guy. I don't I I don't have that much gold to give away. I'm I'm trying to be very careful in how I'm spending my limited resources. Um So what do we do? Do we just build strength? Do I, like, keep re-rolling for Windrun? I just don't know, man. Try Book of Paragon. Book of Paragon. You cannot buy more items of this time. There we go. Doesn't work, right? We can only have one Book of Paragon. Hello. Again, um, quick warning that my, my fighting style is maybe a little unusual. <laughs> well, you might be like, why does Sproink not have a cooldown? And I'm like, I don't know, man. It just doesn't really have a cooldown, honestly. <laughs> They're having a hard time. <laughs> Okay, I need to buy something. I really do have to buy something, right? I think we only build strength. If we keep this version. If we keep this version, we just want to have as much HP as possible. We deal enough damage with Maledict. Right, Maledict and Wild Axis will be infinite damage forever. Because it like amps itself. So we just need to survive. And for that we just need dispersion. Agility for 100% damage reduction. It's not possible. You, you're gonna need so much agility for that. You cannot get near 100% damage reduction. I don't think we need... I don't think we need uh, strength... Uh, intelligence, sorry. I don't think we need that. Alright, let's try this out. Like, how quickly do we kill Roshan? With the Maledict. Oh my god. See, this is what I mean. We just have infinite damage. Like, he didn't even stand a chance. I think we just buy, like, all of the strength. Are you guys ready to be the strongest that anybody has anybody ever, that anybody's ever seen? Alright, 76 books. All right, guys, we have 14,300 uh, 14, HP. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're the strongest. <laughs> Maybe we can get 420 strength. I'm going to keep the BKB. I don't know if I should have that in my inventory. I should probably get like a... What's it called? Uh, Heaven's Halberd. I should probably get one of those. I don't buy edges. You can't buy edges in this one. Uh, you can only buy edges in the other. Like, you can buy it in Custom Hero Chaos, but a Custom Hero Clash doesn't have edges. Which, to be honest, is actually a change I think is probably for the better. Um, I kind of like how... Okay, there we go. 
I kind of like how in in this mode, it's it's a lot more definite. Like the game will end. Oh my! They just they just don't stand a chance. Like the damage output is insane. They just they just, they just vanish. Okay. All right, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Okay. Bounce, 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 bounce. I wish I could re-roll just the bounce. <laughs> So the tricky part is really just getting the crepes to all group up in the way that I am happy with. So now they're dead, right? I actually have to do nothing at all anymore. Except for the one guy that didn't get hit by it. Damn. Absolutely brutal. Cool. And honestly, I'm pretty glad that I chose the champion because, you know, like, it, it, it compounds. Like, this is something that becomes more powerful the longer the game goes. Like, at this point, it's given us, like, plus 50 in total attributes, which is kind of crazy. Maybe we get a butterfly or something? Yeah, I was going to get a, a Heaven's Halberd. We can use that to disable some of the big big creeps for a little while if we get into a drastic situation. Um, and, um, you know, it gives a little bit of uh, extra strength even and all of that stuff. We don't really need the attack speed or agility from or the damage from a butterfly. So I think Heaven's Halberd would work a little bit better for our purposes. Hello. I'm surprised you're not doing anything. Is this, is this just what we do? Is this how we live our life? Okay. Why are you just like not fighting me? <laughs> this is not a winning strategy. <laughs> I guess maybe it is because I'm not able to hit you. God damn it. There we go. Still win, I don't know. Kind of weird, but sure. Uh, there it is. There's Heaven's Halberd. Hello. Alright, group them up. Do this. And they're dead. Cool. Move this to Stash. Ghost Scepter instead of Halberd. I think you're right. Should I get, like, E Blade? <laughs> Does E Blade have a longer cooldown than Ghost Scepter? Uh, no. It uses mana, but the mana isn't that big of a deal. Because this does 1.5 times my primary attribute and damage. I have a bit of strength. <laughs> I have a tad bit of strength. <laughs> so it might might end up working out nicely for us. Right, and we can still do this, which is in the end really the point. Because this automatically groups them up. Wow, they're already dead. It's really kind of weird to see them go from practically full to just instantly dead, isn't it? Wait, so the Necro has Sunder. No? Where did that big damage? Like, reversal come from then? 
Wait, did I not see something right? Must have seen something wrong. It felt like maledict. Was that just maledict? Damn. Crazy. Well, we're gonna go ahead and just keep bouncing around. I'm not ready. This has been a fun game. You know what? I felt like a bit of a wiener when we started this with, you know, uh, what's it called? With axes and multicast. But I think it's it's turned out to be pretty enjoyable anyway. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> Maledict is crazy. Maledict is a crazy little thing, isn't it? Let's check my backpack. What's in your backpack? Blade mail? Book of Agility. Boots? Nice. I'm gonna just keep buying books of strength. I'm aiming for the 420. You just wait. I'm gonna get us there. I don't think anybody has ever actually gotten to the 420. At least not in one of our games. So today, today, the legend will come true. It will happen. Finally. Don't need hard against heroes, uh, because heroes cancel hard anyway. Are you PKBing me? Very rude, I have to say. Ah, oh, there we go. We got it. God damn it. Stop it. Please. Are you rearming? Are you rearming Aeon Disk? I think that's illegal. I think you'll get sued over that. Why is that not have a cooldown? What the fuck? You can rearm A on disc? You shouldn't. What? You can't rearm A on disc? How, how are you supposed to do anything? Dark Lord reroll Rearm forgot to exclude Aeon Disc. Oh my god, don't! Ah! You can rearm Aeon Disc? What the fuck are you supposed to do against that? Like, you can't notify it, it'll still just trigger. You can't silence it because the Aeon Disc will get you out of the silence. Dark Lord, be careful. Hey, we just like Dark Lord, my boy. That's not okay, man. I, is this perma stun? How? It's Aeon Disc. <laughs> Do you guys not understand how Aeon Disc works? <laughs> I can't perma stun the guy. That's the whole point of the Aeon Disc. Oh. Okay. We need to get on but but he has like two things of magic immunity. And I'm pretty sure he's rearming Minotaur Horn too. Like with how often he used that. Doom him. Where am I gonna get a Doom from?
Oh my god. I honestly, I'm just gonna hope that the Tinker dies. If it's just Aeon, you can nullify him. But Aeon Disk is a hard dispel. Doesn't Aeon Disk get rid of nullifier? I mean, I'm not changing my build here. Like, this is what you need to keep in mind. Like, I think if we end up changing our build, that's not going to be any good. Because honestly, the Tinker build isn't... Actually, the Tinker is rearming Earth Split. The fuck, man. I don't know, there's some scary builds in this game. I'm gonna hope the Tinker dies to, like... Uh, the, like, Frost Creeps or something. There's definitely a possibility for that, because the Tinker actually doesn't have an edges anymore. Aeon, Aeon gets rid of Nullifier, yeah! Like, it's just... Aeon is a hard dispel. Aeon gets rid... Aeon gets rid of everything, that's the whole point. In the files, in the code, when they released Aeon Disk, it was called Combo Breaker. Because that's what it does, it breaks you. Breaks you out of the combo, it just completely gets rid of everything. Except for Doom, but nothing gets rid of Doom. Okay. Just don't do enough damage to trigger it. <laughs> That's the 10 trillion IQ play. Why don't you just lose the game? <laughs> just lose. <laughs> yeah, it's, you know what? Okay, okay. There we, there we go. And we got him. What the fuck? Honestly, I mean... My, my damage output is insane. Yes! See, I told you! The strategy is just to wait for Tinker to die. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. That's the next level strats. You just wait for them to die. <laughs> Don't have to play around it if they're dead. Oh, man. Well, you're gonna lose too. Alright, so it's only gonna be three players left. Maybe two, depending. I don't know if this uh, Shadow Fiend can really survive this. How did he die with this build? It's not that great against Rashan because like against Rashan, if you make one mistake, he'll just slap you like that. <laughs> Which is not ideal. Oh, just this version. I was wondering, but it's not blade mail there. Okay, so we have to be a bit careful against this fella. It is minable, it's just gotta be a little careful. Oh, rude. Haha! Bounce your way out! Aeon Disc! Don't even, don't even talk to me about Aeon Disc. Alright. I'm trying to avoid using BKB as much as possible. Right. If we don't have to use BKB, then I would rather not use it. I will use this and group them all up. Then immediately regret our decision. But it's actually not that big of a deal. Funnily enough. Because we can bounce out of there. <laughs> Let's go. Sproink is just way too good. 351. Oh, guys. Oh, my God. Is it happening? 
Is it happening? I mean, it kind of comes down to everybody else not dying. Admittedly, our builds are very good. There's some intense shit happening here, so I would be kind of surprised if we die soon. Okay. There's this. But yeah, in, in Custom Hero Clash, Maledict is like one of those top tier abilities. Because it just... Oh, Maledict is good. As you can see, it's just does a ton of damage. <laughs> hey, I don't even... I don't even think saying it does a ton of damage does it justice at all. Like, Maledict does way more than damage. It just kills things. Okay, we got 366. Oh, I need one more. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta start building something that does damage. Why do you not have a blade? Why do you have a yules? Okay, Shadowfin, here's the secret. Here's how you, if you don't die right now, here's how you actually can do shit here. Right? Get. Oh, never mind, you're dead. Alright. Get blade mail instead of yules? And get a decent damage ability, honestly. Why is Melodic that broken? So there's nothing about Melodic that makes it broken here. Right? Melodic doesn't have any special properties here. It's just It's just Melodic that's really good. <laughs> Melodic is an ability that's trapped on a shitty hero. You know what I mean? Like if Melodic was on any hero that wasn't Witch Doctor, it would be way overpowered. Very similar to like how um, Essence Shift is an ability trapped on a shitty hero. It's like way overpowered on anybody that isn't Slog. Oh. Well, I wasn't really planning on just killing you like this, but but I guess I will. Hey, Bellamy, hope your day's going good. All right, we're gonna need to BKB this at some point. Hey, Captain Reap Trash, thank you very much. Yeah, it's going all good. All right, we were finally forced to use a BKB, but that's okay. We want to make sure we win this, right? <laughs> nice. All right, 393. We need, uh, is it nine more books? All right, group them up. And there we go. We actually got 402 strength. 402 bonus strength. We're gonna get to almost 20,000 HP. <laughs> oh my god. And there they go. Oh man, we got way too much health region on top of that. I mean, like, we're healing for like 4,000. 420 strikes on round 69. Oh my god. I think that's actually what's going to happen. This is a blessed game. <laughs> this is we're in round 68 right now. Oh my god. It's exact. We got 420 strength on round 69. <laughs> oh my god. What a blessed game, honestly. All right, there you go. We just chill. Like, us having so much more health is, like, a huge asset here. All right, we need to be a bit careful.
Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes! Oh, that was close. That was really close. <laughs> no, I won. I won. Okay, I won. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> okay. Oh, no, no. Alright, let's wait until they all grouped up. So we can maledict them all. We apply our damage. And then we get out. And, um... Well, I'm just gonna keep building strength, honestly. I mean, is there any reason for us to change what we're doing? We've got 20,000 HP. Man, Devil's still faster than me at clearing stuff, though. Yeah, because Devil's just using Enrage, Dispersion, Blade Mail. Ghost Shroud to group them up, Maledict, and then Blade Mail, Enrage, and they're dead. Ah, this is a bit silly, isn't it? I wonder how long this can go on for. Like, the thing is, it's not... It's not even really close in terms of actually dying to the creeps. Right? Like, we're getting nowhere near dying to the creeps. That's just not happening. So, like, how much longer is this gonna go on for? Like, seriously. It's not like a hypothetical question right now. I'm genuinely curious, like... How much further we can push this. Although, the... Yeah, that's, that's kind of a problem there. Okay, we lost... Uh, we lost the Nagus. I guess that's how it goes. Yeah, us fighting is really the only thing that's actually gonna kill anybody. Because we're running out of Agis and eventually we're gonna... We're gonna get into one-shot territory. will be a problem. Okay, I think I need to figure out some items for this duel. Against this necro. I got I gotta have something that's a bit different because my current strategy in these fights it's too luck dependent it too much just kind of hopes that I get everything right which is quite unlikely right for me to get like perfect execution of the fight hey Venom98 thank you very much for the for Twitch Prime appreciate it Okay. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Do this bad boy. Group them up. Oh my god, we almost died. We did die. Well, that's not good. <laughs> wow, okay. Um... Well, I think that's the game telling us that why the fuck are you still alive? It's round 77. You're not supposed to still be alive. Right, I think that's what's going on there. The game is just very blatant in its messaging at this stage. Look 
Made who won. Oh! Ah, damn it. Ah, oh, man. Alright, we gotta be really careful now. I think we're gonna lose this. Oh, Necro died. Oh, never mind. Necro died. Die again. Die again. No, never mind. Devil isn't gonna die twice. No! Oh! God, they got me. Oh, man. Round 78. Ah, kind of funny how two very similar builds made it this far, though. Right. Anyway, uh, that was cool. Uh, the sun looks like my head has like a hole in it, but I promise you it doesn't. It's just the sun making it look like it. Um, if you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a rating on the video. I definitely appreciate that, and I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.